So here's our cascading CD4017s. A signal coming in which is around 150 hertz, which you can't see on the blue. The red is, should be 15 uh, hertz. The yellow should be 1.5 hertz, and uh, and so on down to the green. So each one uh, has a division. You can see the white uh, output from one CD4017 cascading to the input of the next one. Uh, as well as the visual indication, here is the oscilloscope hooked up to the um, input, basically the first chip. And now I've got hooked up, you can see the green line there hooked up to the output uh, of that first chip. And that should be 150 divided by 10, which it is, that's running at 15 hertz, so that seems to be working well. Now I feed that signal into the second CD4017, and you can see the green line from the um, oscilloscope there now measuring from the output of the second one and there it is at 1.5 hertz so it's divided by a further uh, 10. Now it's difficult with the oscilloscope to measure the green one but you can measure it visually so let's count the, um, the yellow ones here we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can see that it was actually firing as I counted eight. So that green one is again divided by 10. So now I've swapped the 555 timer to a fast one. Uh, so it's the same circuit, but now C1, C2 and C3 are quite small and R2 is quite small as well. So basically you can't register on any of those. But this time the oscilloscope is reading from the output of the third chip and that's 550 odd hertz, which means that the original signal should be coming in at 550 kilohertz. So that means the 555 timer seems to be working and that's a nice square wave. Or is it? So here I've got another signal generator uh, and this one is a sine wave coming in. So I've got the measurement for the oscilloscope coming to the input and you can see there the oscilloscope is registering 100 hertz and it's a sine wave. Now I've just got a crude selector here so I can select the output of that first chip to see if it is also a sine wave and if it isn't then we've still got to answer the question and it isn't. It is divided by 10 but it isn't a sine wave. So we still have the question, is the 555 timer, as it increases in frequency, falling away, or is the oscilloscope at fault? Watch this space.